Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I am like, this feels like this is like my first time recording a video. I've been gone for like two and a half weeks. It might be three weeks counting. Um, a lot has went on. Um, like my, as some of you may know, my husband had surgery on his eye. Um, he had a stroke about a couple of years ago and then he ended up having bell palsy and his eye was really droopy. So they went ahead and did surgery on his eye and gave it a lift. So I was out for that entire week so that I could take care of him. And then I also had some issues going on with my, well, my 15 year old son. Uh, he's having problems at school and at home. Um, he's been in counseling and seeing a psychiatrist for a while. Um, I don't know if it's just a phase he's going through. I'm just trying to figure all this out. It's heartbreaking because he's lying to us constantly. Um, like we've taken everything away from him. Uh, we've even gave him plenty of chances to earn everything back. And he just, I don't know. Um, I told him and it's a mutual agreement. Uh, if he started to not get better in school and also cause he got in trouble so much last year in school. Um, we told him that he was heading to boot camp. We don't want to do that. I love my son. He is my youngest. He is my baby. I love him so much. I don't want to do that. Um, but again, what is a parent supposed to do when we are at the end of a barrel and we just don't have any more things to grasp onto? Um, and then right after that, I don't know if it's just me. I just got stressed out. I don't know. But I ended up getting sick with a cold slash flu. I don't think it was COVID because I got all my shots and everything, which, you know, still doesn't matter. But, um, because you could still get sick with COVID and still get your shots. But, um, it like hit me hard where I had a sore throat. I'm still congested, as you guys probably can hear with my voice and my nose, that nauseating nose sound. Um, but I am feeling better. Um, I needed that entire week to recuperate because it would have just been a mess. I wouldn't have been feeling up to everything going on. Um, yeah, so definitely the flu is definitely going around. So yeah, um, actually my son, my 15 year old son ended up getting sick first. And so I think he's the one that got me sick. So this is going to be a um, shopping haul video. I kind of want to start out a little bit light because I don't want to dive right into a makeup tutorial. I'm still like, it feels like this is like my first video. And I'm like, I'm like wanting to hit the play button and record. And I'm like, ugh. Um, so I'm still going to do the giveaway. I still have that on my mind. Um, matter of fact, I do, I can show you guys a couple of products that I did that I'm going to put in the giveaway. Um, the first thing that I did products that are popular in the beauty world. Um, I thought it was really important to like, not only put popular beauty products in the giveaway, but also products that I love too, that I enjoy. So this is one of them. Um, this is actually a popular beauty product and something that I enjoy wearing. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. It's curling and lifting. So you will be getting this in the giveaway. And then I love this so much. This is the e.l.f. Um, Glow Reviver Lip Oil, and I got a shade that's very wearable. Um, it's infused with apricot oil, so I'll be putting that also in the giveaway. And I will also be putting like a whole bunch of stuff in a giveaway. I was thinking about doing like 
two winners, but I haven't really decided on that yet. Um, so let's get into the shopping haul. This is a mix between drugstore and luxury. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be back. I just didn't want to like pound the payment with a video. So, um, I'm so happy for the fall season. Um, a matter of fact, um, as we're talking, um, Target, um, in their, um, what is it, bullseye area, as you first come in to the doors, they have these, and I wanted to show this to you guys. Um, I have last year's potion bottles, but they also have new ones. And these are like super adorable. And yesterday I was like, cause my mind doesn't shut down at night. Um, and I was like, wouldn't it be cute to take all these little bottles and put it in a cabinet and display it? So I was browsing on Shen and Timu and they didn't have any kind of selections. They had spice racks, but nothing that I really wanted that I was looking for. So I went on to Amazon and they had this cute Halloween potion rack that is, I think it's 20 bucks and it is super adorable. It's actually tall enough to fit these bottles. It's got a couple cubbies to put them in. But the first little potion bottle right here is called Vampire Bites. And then this one is called A Sing. Aussie Eyes, which has got little eyeballs in it. And then this one is Cosmic Dust, which is really super adorable. And then this one is Hoot of Owl Elixir. And it's got these little feathers in it. So them are just super adorable. And my Target had like a whole bin of them. And I, they did have um, the potion bottles that I had from last year. They had them in that bin also. And they're only a dollar a piece. You can't beat that. And then they had other um, Halloween decorations like pillows and um, other trinkets. Um, wish it could have been a little bit better, but what can you do? So let's get into our shopping haul. Um, I actually went into Ulta. I forgot why I went in there in the first place. Um, but I seen this at an end cap. This is the Real Techniques and it's limited edition Chrome Era Infinite Glow Base Brush. So it's a flat Kampuki brush, but I thought this would make a really nice foundation brush. And the Real Technique brushes in general are super wonderful. They're like, you, they got like a variety of blush, brush, blush, brushes, I'm sorry, geez. Um, you can use it for, for, like I said, foundation. They have ones for blushes, bronzers, contour, even your eyeshadow. So they had this. I think this was like around $12, I want to say. And then when I went to Dollar Tree, because I was shopping for more like Halloween stuff, um, I bought some more of these lashes. And so this one is a uh, Frenzy. This is a wispy medium cat eye, which you guys have not yet seen me apply lashes. So I need to do it in the next tutorial because I know maybe some of you guys would be interested in like not like knowing how to apply lashes. And then this one is different because it's a half a lash. So you don't even have to cut these because it's a half a lash and you just put it on your outer, um, the outer of your eye. So they had this and these are a dollar. This is the halfing, the half lane lashes, 3D Fox Meek. These um, are by Tony. And then I got, I must be like the last person on earth to buy this. 
but I ended up buying um, the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Light One. And it comes in the outer box like this, which is super cool. Um, and then when you open it, there's the bottle. And then it's in this, like, I don't know if you guys can hear that, uh, glass bottle. But I just, I love the bottle in general. Um, it feels really luxe. It's heavy. So we'll put this in, you know, maybe the next tutorial. I haven't really decided between the foundations yet. So we have a new foundation to test out. And then Dolly Parton actually has her own beauty brand now. And she also has perfume. And they actually sent me a sample of her perfume. And let's see, what is the name of this one? I think this is just... Um, it's got... Flower Blossoms, um, let's see, I see Flower Blossoms on it. This, I smelt this. This is more for the mature audience, if you get what I'm saying. This wasn't really a scent for me. I'm into those scents that are really fresh fruity. Um, I do love my flower scents. I don't really like, it depends like how it's mixed, but I don't really like the musk scent. Uh, I feel like it's really like not old grandma, but it just has this strong scent that I just, I, it's so nauseating to me. But you know, people in general are not always going to like the same fragrances. So I've always been in into this fruity scents and the light scents. So this is their Dolly one. Um, she has a couple fragrances, so maybe I'll try out her other perfume. And then she came out with four different lipsticks. And um, this one is in birthday suit and her like this, like, this lipstick is incredible. And it was only, I think it was 20 bucks. It looks so high-end. Like, it's got her signature on it. And then what you do is you push this button. Which is it. And it releases out. And then there is the lipstick. Uh, from what I've seen in the uh, swatches, it is lighter than what it's showing on the bullet. And then this one is in the shade, what is this one? Um, Rose, Rosebud. And it's the same packaging. And then you push it out, which I really love these kind of like components and it's in this like pinky shade and then she had a Dolly Parton like red shade what she's famous for and then she's got a purple shade so she's got a shade for everybody's taste I think she nailed it um I saved her box packaging so I could show you guys what it looks like but her outer box packaging looks like this oh it's got a hair on it uh, it's got a little butterfly on the side. Um, it's got the ingredients on the back. And it's called the Heaven's Kiss Lipstick. So I am I can't wait until like like we try it on. Um, and I can't wait to see more launches from her. She's like an incredible lady. I seen her first in her movie where it was a Christmas I think it's called the Christmas story, where She's in these woods and she comes upon these kids that are really poor and was raised by themselves. And then she meets this like charming man and they get together and then there's this witch 
that like puts a spell on her and it's a really cool movie but it's an old movie and i i think it's called a christmas story you might want to google dolly parton's movie and it's i know it's christmas something but anyways that was like one of my favorite movies by her um the next product is called physician's formula butter glow bronzing serum so you can use this as a contour you can use this for your body and i had really great luck in their other bronzing um formula so i thought i would give this a go too and this is in the shade sun kissed glow and then um when i first bought the kosas powder i got it in the wrong shade and now I have to pick up another shade because they came out with, was it three different powders? Um, they came out with a uh, banana looking one, uh, a peach powder and a pink powder. And I wanna pick up the pink powder. And so this one is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. This is in the shade Airy. So this is like the lightest shade to carry pull this out of the box it comes in the packaging like this and then when you open it it's got this like dome shaped and I don't know if you guys will be able to tell but it's really silky and light it's not going to show up it's basically like my shade but lighter so we have that and then like I don't like I had a whole bunch of nail polishes and like a lot of them dried out so I had to take like throw a lot of them away and like I always like like wanted black nail polish so like that's the only shade that I had but when I went to Dollar General they had like um new uh nail polishes out and these are called Jelly. This is the LA Colors Glitter Vibes, which is this stunning, like it's got these micro glitters in it, like different colors in it. And then Simple Colors is like a drugstore affordable nail polish. But I thought this color right here, is like would look really good with this. So I would like apply this as my base and then go on top with this color and then go on with a top coat. So I thought that would look really nice on my toenails. And they have like other shades, like they have pink. They I, I even wanted to pick up the blue shade, which I might my next shopping trip. So we have, I'm gonna test that out and then I'll let you guys know how that is. I do want to get some like fake nails, but not like long nails. I like short because I can't do very much with long nails. So let's stick to short. Um, so Urban Decay, um, they're famous for their all nighter setting spray, but they came out with a different setting spray. And this is the all nighter long lasting makeup setting spray. It's got hyaluronic acid and watermelon watermelon fruit extract so this smells like watermelon and we'll actually find out right now if this smells like watermelon because i already did all my skincare um directions shake well hold 10 inches away so we're gonna shake comes um with your cap on it with another cap that should be enough let me see there's a sprayer so it's really fine oh that really does smell like watermelon oh in my skin it looks like so hydrating because it's got that hyaluronic acid in it because hyaluronic acid, geez, what is it today? <laughs> um, gives you that hydration that your skin needs. So that 
was is so awesome because if you like applied too much powder in your makeup routine just apply some of the setting spray and like all that powder like will like like sink into your skin and you won't be so powdery because that hyaluronic acid will suck up that powder so that is really nice and it smells like watermelon so this is really good buy so the next one i picked up this is actually going in the giveaway because this is one of my favorite lip oils um this is the nyx professional makeup fat oil lipstick this is in the shade uh, where shade are you miss call and i got again a wearable shade for you guys to wear and it's not going to be this dark on your lips it's kind of going to be like that trans translucent um color so you'll have this in your giveaways also because that is also another popular um product that um everybody loves um another powder i picked up is by Tower 28 and I've never tried anything by Tower 28 before so this is my first buy um, this is in paradise oh no it's not paradise it's Palades Palades pink I think this says get set blur and set pressed powder so it comes in this packaging it's got all the information on the back. And so we have a pink powder to test out. And then it comes in this compact that's purple. Got the logo on the front. And then um, the brand is cruelty free and vegan. So when you open it, I have so many sometimes i have a hard time opening these products and again it's because i don't have any nails i have it open so it looks like this one downside to this is i wish there would have been a mirror in this but it's not going to make or break the product what i'm wondering is how well this product works so there is the product so there's a swatch and it looks like it blends out nice so that's and it feels really silky and smooth so we have that to try out and then nyx came out with brow products this is the nyx powder um louder brow pencil and I wasn't too sure, like, did I, did I get the wrong shade? I thought I, I thought I picked up, I don't remember picking up Ash Brown. Maybe I did. I'll have to go back in my receipts. Uh, but anyways, this is in the shade Ash Brown. And so your pencil is on the top. And then you get a spoolie on the bottom. And I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure what shades I were. I was. So I picked up two different shades. So we'll have that to try out. So it's uh, it's going to turn into a powder as you apply it, from what I heard. And then also by NYX, I picked up the NYX Vivid Rich Mechanical Liner Retractable Pencil and always ox so we have um a eyeliner to try out and then also by nyx i picked up the epic ink liner and it's supposed to be waterproof Let's see what this looks like i don't have I'm hearing my scissors i'm like where are my scissors So it comes like this. Let me swatch this. So the, it looks like this. I don't know if you guys see the um, pencil. I 
I'm hoping this doesn't bleed, but that is the color. So this is in the shade black. So let's just see if this is waterproof. Let me let it dry for a little bit. Um, the next product is by Wet n Wild and they came out with these bullet lip balms. Um, and this is like this glitter, like sh anything glittery or shimmery or rhinestones. I'm like, oh, I gotta have it, you know? Um, so I picked this up. This is in the shade, uh, what is this shade? Soft, that ain't right. Something juicy, I can't tell what this is. Got it juicy, that's what it's called. Let me open this. I think my eyes are getting bad because I'm like, cannot read some of this stuff. So I think you wind it up and he's got this bullet to it. I don't like the smell. It smells like crayons. But that is what the shade looks like. Depends on how it's going to look on the lips, but I already don't like the smell, which I don't, you don't have to have like a scent and lip products, but I don't like the smell. It smells like crayons and I don't like my lip products smelling like crayons. All right, let's try this uh, eyeliner out. Let me see if this is waterproof. Oh, that is not good. Did you guys see that? So that just came off. So, and I let it dry, so that is not a good sign. Um, this is the MAC Studio Radiance. Um, I got it in the shade NW5. So they came out with a uh, new concealer, MAC did. And like, this is how it came when it came packaged, which I'm not happy about, but as long as the bullet is not disturbed, I'm happy. This is in the shade NW5. So this is like a cool undertone, which it should just say like C5 instead of NW, like their shade range like their shade range is fine, but the way they have it numbered is so confusing. You have to read the description to know if you're picking your right shade. So this is the 24 hour luminous lift concealer and it's going to instantly conceal, hydrate, brighten, lift. Um, it's got skincare ingredients like vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, you're going to see 90% instant hydration, uh, reduction in dark circles, and optim was it? ophthalmologist tested. So that is a, some bold claims. But I'm liking it. And I love the packaging on this, how it has that ombre effect, where it goes from, like, you can see the shade, and then it goes into this black. So we have a new concealer. And then... The applicator looks like this. It looks like a little honeycomb. I don't know if you guys can tell, but as you look at it, it's got these lines that go around the applicator. So that's really different and unique to me. And then I was uh, buying some things off in Shen, and they had this hourglass makeup brush for like six bucks. And I'm like, I'll take it, give it to me. So this is the Hourglass Concealer Brush. So this is what the concealer brush, it feels really soft, it's blendable. And so I can't wait to use this for my concealer. So I have that to use in my routine. Um, this is by Physician Formula. This is in the shade Fair to Light. 
Um, they do have a couple other shades to choose from. This is the Mineral Air Diamond Perfector BB Cream 10 in 1 Skin Perfector. So it looks like this. It's got this holographic look to it. Let's get her open. And it has this cool, like, cool looking packaging, which I'm loving. And then, oh, that was hard to pull out. When you open it, you take the top off, like you turn it, and it's got this squeezy tube to it. So that is really cool. So we have like a BB cream to test out. Which, if I don't like want to wear like a full coverage foundation, I do like a BB cream because it's really light and it's like you can build it up to like medium coverage if you want. And then um, the beauty community and everyone is going crazy over this product. And there's another shade that I want to get my hands on that's been out of stock for a while. This is in the shade Icy. This is a dose of colors. And dose of colors you have not heard anything from. And now they just released these eyeshadow sticks. And now they're like back in the game. So good job, dose of colors. This is the multi-use shimmer stick for the face. You can use it for the eyes. And it comes in like your little bullet. And then you get the cap on it. And it's got this shimmer to it. Just watch it. But it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, that's horrible. Diamonds in the sky. It's like more beautiful in person. Let me see if I can amp this up. Lighting. you guys see that? That is so beautiful. And that would look so stunning on the eyes. Yeah, and then like a brown, like a light brown um, shadow in the crease. And then like maybe something to darken it up on the outer edge. Let me fix this lighting now. So we now I'm like too yellow. There, we're back to normal. All right, so we have two eyeshadow palettes to test out. This one I've had my eyes on since it launched last year, so I'm definitely late to the game, maybe. Maybe I just slid into home and just barely made it. This is the Natasha Denona um, Exxon, was it Exxon palette? And I probably pronounced that wrong. But it looks like a sky with like diamonds in it. And then when you open it, it's got fingerprints. Like you can see the premium prints on it. But it's got the same. Let me wipe this off. So it's got the same thing as the box packaging. It's called Zion Palette. That's what it's called. Then when you open it, it looks like this. And it might maybe not look like, it might look too dark, but actually these colors are so beautiful. Even like if you're like fair like me and have a cool undertone, they even look better on the eyes. And then you get the mirror, which um, comes in handy, especially for travel. But her like eyeshadow formula is perfection. It's A plus. They are like a little pricey. They come around the price of $69. But her mattes are creamy. They're blendable. They just oh they have their own song. Um the shimmers and metallics are pigmented. They like glisten on the eyes like if you wanted like a luxury palette, um, I would recommend Natasha Denona um, as one of the brands to get from. And then, um, so we have that to test out. 
And then uh, I'm super excited for this because every year, Danessa Myricks, uh, that's Danessa Myricks Beauty. Uh, Danessa Myricks is a makeup artist and she also owns her own brand. She, every year she comes out with an eyeshadow palette. She came out with an eyeshadow palette um, back when, was it Pride Month, which was in June, I think. But I didn't pick that palette up. Um, but she, her like, her beauty products are so different and unique, but they work. And because she's a makeup artist, her makeup products are, are workable and they're relatable to like people that are just regular people. Like I'm not a makeup artist. Um, I'm just a beauty influencer that enjoys beauty and makeup and the joy of it. So like her makeup is like an, an accessory to me. So she released for the um, holidays. This is the Lightwork Volume 6. I did uh, purchase her five palette last year. This is the Freedom palette, which I kind of want to like find out what the, like the, the name behind it, what it means, Freedom. It might mean a lot. Like freedom to me means like freedom of speech, freedom to say or do things, you you know, and it might actually be for what she stands for. Like she's all for pride and everything and everybody being themselves, no matter what race you are, if you're a man or a woman and or where you, even what country you're from. You're, you're your own individual, you know? She believes in that. She's just an awesome woman, and like one day I would love to meet her. Just to shake her hand and, you know? Um, so this is a palette. I actually gave my daughter the, the last palette because like you can only have so many eyeshadow palettes and I don't want them to go to waste. So I did give my daughter the other palette. So I have this one to play with now. So it comes in this plastic um, to protect it. And then this right here has this metal plaque, which last year's had the metal plaque, which came off, but I glued it for my daughter. Um, you pull it off, it's got a mirror on it. And you're gonna actually use that mirror for more than one thing. Not only are you going to use it to like use it for your eyeshadows, but when you open it, so you get like a section. So you're getting six different shades and I'm sure they all work together or you can use the mattes. Well, these don't come with mattes, but if you were to use a matte, these are all shimmers and dual chromes, but they're, this is a wonderful formula. This is another brand that I would recommend that's worth like spending the coin. This palette was very expensive. This ran around $124, but it's definitely money well spent because this the shades are just unbelievable. Pigmented, they're beautiful. They look like, I mean, they're just, wait till we like use this palette in person. So, each of these sections, I don't want to use my finger, I don't want my finger, I've already gouged it. I was afraid that was going to happen. Should have just used my spatula. Uh, see, the only downside to this is I wish there was a way where this could come out. Well, let me just flip this out. Oh, come on. So you pull one of these out. So you're getting six shades. So let's say that I just want to take this um, on travel for me. So you would take this little mirror and it magnetize right on it. And then you take the lid to cover the rest of the shadows. So that way nothing else happens. You know, they don't break or nothing any and then 
you got your own little mini palette. So this works for if you're a makeup artist or if you're just like a mom like me. But this is like super innovative and cool and nobody has done this. So I'm like super impressed with this. So we have a new palette, a couple of palettes to play with. And then like when we take that mini palette, if you really don't want nothing to happen to it, you just slide it in a pouch and it's definitely protected. It's a really heavy duty pouch and it's got a magnet. These have a magnet right here that closes to it. So that is my shopping haul. That's what I've been up to. Um, well, some of this was bought before all that happened three weeks ago, but um, I'm just super excited to be back. Um, I'm glad that you guys are still hanging in there with me. God bless. Um, so that is my shopping haul and I love you and next time it'll be a makeup tutorial. So if you guys want to see some of these products in demo, let me know what you want to see and I would gladly put them in a video. So I love you and I'll see you guys in the next video.